Shalom. Kahalayim la Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Wahav Rachakudash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well for teaching me this truth. Salutations to the hopeful elect. All right. Uh, to you brothers out there across the globe, pushing the truth with all righteousness and sincerity, and to you few sincere sisters who hearken as well diligently. Peace, love, and blessings. Kaya here back with another video, and I'm gonna do a a little um a little Hebrew lesson. All right. Going into the word gate in the Hebrew, you know, in the Paleo Hebrew. All right. In the um later on in the video, I'll show you a depiction because I, I thought about I thought about this um not too long ago. I'm just like gates, 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 you know, and a gate doesn't always have to literally mean like a like a um like a um a fence with bars and everything. It just simply means opening. All right, and I'm gonna prove that, you know. And uh, Lord's willing, I'll get some pictures in a little bit. But, um, oh, so like a wrong scripture. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 3. It says, She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in, at the doors. All right. So, we're going to get this, this word. And this is talking about wisdom. All right. Because the scriptures tell you that wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. All right, and that's exactly what when wisdom is, is going into how, how brothers are supposed to be prophesying and pushing this truth. Okay? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, the, the true Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible, all right. The scriptures is telling us how and where we should be prophesying at. All right. So let's get this word gates. All right. In the um in the Hebrew, all right, this is the Assyrian. And always remember that Hebrew is read from right to left, not left to right. All right. So this is the Hebrew word for gate, H8179. It's Sha'ir. Sha'ir. Okay. It's Sha'ir. Strong's H8179. Sha'ir. 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 All right. And it says gate, gate of entrance, gate of of space inside gate, i.e. marketplace, public meeting place, city, town, gate of palace, royal castle, temple court, court of um, temple, court of tabernacle, heaven. All right. But, you know, um, yeah, it just it just simply means the opening, the entrance. All right. Of a um, of a of a marketplace, man. All right. Well, in this particular scripture. All right. So um, in Strong's. In the Strong's definition, it says gate, city, door, port, porters. All right. And you notice, I'll just go ahead and pull up, uh, pull up a picture. All right. Now, when you look at, because I, I typed in Google gate to marketplace historical, you know, because these areas are where, are where you would find the prophets usually, you know, also, you know, at the beginnings, at the openings of um, uh, king's palaces and so on and so forth. All right. So this this image right here, you know, shows a woman walking through what a gate. All right. She's she's transferring over. Uh, she's transferring over to to the other side, like going into like a marketplace or wherever it is. All right. They look that they're, they're just you know giant pillars. That's um. They got the bridges over them. Okay. It just it's simply an opening. All right. It's just simply an opening, and you know this this is where you will find. You know, uh, our brothers at today, man, are at the openings of the marketplaces. All right. Now, let me take away historical. All right. For a more, um, a more modern, okay, a more modern look, a more modern taste. All right. Like this picture right here. All right. It says Old Town Marketplace. Okay. You find brothers, once again, in these, these, um, metropolized areas all right and the, the word metropolis all right it means um it means uh uh um what was it i think it was like mother city if i'm not mistaken yeah i think it yeah i think metropolis is mother city as a matter of fact let me stop thinking let me um just act so metropolis etymology all right just to further stress the point all right. Once again, the Hebrew word is Sha'ir. All right. Um, metropolis. 
All right, seat of a metropolitan bishop, meaning chief town or capital city of a province. Okay, so places like, um, and it can really be anywhere, but one of the chief cities or one of the chief towns in, in America, which is spiritually called Babylon, Egypt, Sodom, and Gomorrah, is, is New York, New York City. Okay. Let me see. Um. It, it, oh, okay. So like it, it is metropolitan. Well, it's the same thing. It's the same context. Okay. It says bishop having general superintendency over other bishops of his province. Uh, mother city. All right. From Greek metropolis. Mother city. Okay. Mother city. All right. That's why. That's why what? That's why you, you know, you usually see women, a whole lot of women in the city. You know, like, you know, when brothers camp in New York. And suddenly brothers who camp in New York, you know what I'm saying? In uh, places like Atlanta. All right. It's it's a huge city area. man. It's a mother city. You see a lot of females in the city, man. OK, America itself is, is a huge city. OK. It says um, mother city from which others have been colonized. OK. Was America not colonized uh, by Esau, Edom, the red people? All right, it says parent state of a colony, also capital city. All right, so there you go. Then it says from Meter at the end, from Meter, mother, okay, mother city. All right, that's why America, it has uh, this, this feminine vibration because these cities, all right, the, these cities, all right, have a very feminine vibration. You, the, All you see is women in the cities, man, spending money, okay, committing adultery, all right, that further influences their 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 wanton eyes. All right, them you know like looking looking at other men, you know desiring to uh, be with them, and so on and so forth, man. Okay, so going back to Sha'ir. Okay. Proverbs eight and three. She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors, man. All right, and that's exactly and, and because because we know this. That's exactly why brothers prophesy in city areas, man. All right, we ain't supposed to be in our neighborhoods. We ain't supposed to be in the damn ghettos. We supposed to be at the cities, you know. And also, you know, um, just to make mention of, all right, in the city areas is where you're gonna see all of the um, every single nation under the sun, including our own, man. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You're gonna see so-called white people, so-called Japanese, Korean, Chinese, African, uh, um. What you call it? Um, uh, uh, Samoans, okay. Australians, you you want to see every nation under the sun, are right, in these city areas because what well, America is a huge city, and, you know it's a huge tourist attraction, okay. But um, at the end of the video, just um, stay put for the uh the paleo characters, all right. But Lord's willing, you was edified. Until next time, shalom.